So you've created the world's greatest web part. You're all ready to go. And your manager says, that's great, but I want it to appear in Teams. How on earth do I do that? Thankfully, Microsoft make it very simple to add your web part to Teams. Let's dive straight in. So I'm going to scaffold a web part that we're going to use in Teams. I'm going to make sure that I'm using version 14 of Node, the LTS version. And I'm going to type Yo. I'm going to do Microsoft SharePoint. I'm going to call this My Teams tab. SharePoint Online, of course. I'm going to create a subfolder with the name. Uh, do I want to be able to add it to all sites? I'm going to say yes, I do for Teams. I'll just answer the defaults for that and it's going to be a web part. So what's web part going to be called? I'm going to call it Rob's tab. Uh, for now, I'm going to do no JavaScript framework. It could be React, of course, um, but just to make it very simple for this example. I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to open a terminal. I'm going to make sure we're using the correct version of Node. And I can see I'm using 10. So I'm going to do MVM use 14. Uh, I'll put the link above to our video on installing NVM or Node Version Manager because it really is such an excellent tool to use. So I'm going to go into my web part folder and let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to run this and we'll see what we've got. I'm going to add my web part Rob tab and there we are, welcome to SharePoint. I'll just minimize that and stop debugging. So let's have a look at the code in there. Web parts, Rob's tab, and it's got some very simple code in here. What I'm going to do is just get rid of all of that. And let's just put div hello, this is Rob's web part. Close that down, close off the bracket. Okay, so now when I run it, I've got a very simple web part. I'll just stop debugging. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into Teams and it's very straightforward how to do that. Now you'll notice that from 1.8 onwards, we're using 1.12.1 as the framework here, that it does actually give you a couple of starter points. It gives you an icon there to use. So you could override these icons and put your own icons in there. And this will appear when you go to add it into Teams. But there's something else we need to look at as well before it can be used in Teams. For your web part, you need to locate the JSON file, the manifest file. And in here, you'll see by default, it's got a title and it's got some properties and this would have everything else that you would use. But notice that it's got supported hosts and it's got SharePoint web part, meaning we can use it in a SharePoint page. All we need to simply do is type in here Teams tab. There's Teams application, there's all kinds of different things you can do and that's for a later time. I'll put some links to some great tutorials from Microsoft below, but essentially that's all we have to do is do Teams tab. So how do we know if we're in Teams or if we're in a SharePoint page? Well, helpfully, Microsoft provide us with some helpers with that. So what we can do is in the render method, we can very simply check for this. So where do we need to be looking? Well, we need to look at this dot context, the web part context, dot SDKs dot Microsoft Teams. And this will tell us whether we're in Microsoft Teams, it will give us the context for it. Um, if it exists. 
So it'll be null if we're not in Microsoft Teams. So I can say simply here, if this dot context Microsoft Teams, then I can say, hello, this is Rob's web part in Microsoft Teams. Otherwise, I'm gonna say, hello, this is Rob's web part. Okay, so you'll see there's lots more available to us. If I go to this.context.sdks.microsoftteams.context.appicomposition, channel name we can get in there. Um, there's all sorts. In fact, I think I'm going to uh, add that to our code. So I'm going to say, hello, this is Rob's web part in Microsoft Teams, and I'm going to put a little inline bit of code there and show the channel name so when we're in microsoft teams it will show the channel name otherwise we'll just show a normal web part so let me run this and when i refresh the page as expected it just says this is rob's web part why because we're in a sharepoint page so let's package and deploy this to teams so the first thing we need to do is bundle our solution. The next thing we need to do is package our solution. And if we look in SharePoint, we'll see it's created a package for us. So what's next? We need to go to the app catalog. So just like other tutorials that we've been through, we need to go to more features. We then need to go to apps. We then need to click on app catalog. We then need to distribute apps for SharePoint. So I'm going to bring up my solution and I'm going to drag it into the app catalog. In this case, to use it with Teams, I want to make sure that this solution is available to all sites in the organization and click Deploy. So, we've deployed that and we'll know it will be available to our site uh, as a web part, as we can see in previous tutorials how to do that. However, now we've got this, we need to make it available to Teams. How do we do that? So we find our solution and we notice it's got sync to Teams. This will automatically appear because we put that setting in as a supported host. So I click sync to Teams. Eventually, it will tell you that it's successfully synced. Let's open Microsoft Teams. So we go to Microsoft Teams and we click apps and then we wait for our app to appear. We can also search for it. And there it is. So I'm going to click on here. And what does it tell me? Well, it was created by me. The permissions I've got, I'm going to add it to the team. So which channel am I going to add it to? Well, I have a Your Cloud team, which is the company I work for. And we now wait patiently while it adds it. I click save. And there it's put uh, our web part in there. Notice the branding looks great. And notice it has also picked up that it's in Teams. Hello, this is Rob's web part in Microsoft Teams. Well, I hope you found that useful. If you want to learn more about Teams functionality with the SharePoint framework, I've included some links to some great tutorials below. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't done already, please click subscribe and the notification icon. I'll see you next time.